Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We've been getting a lot of interest in the information that we put out on YouTube. And we get a lot of requests saying, well, how do you make your analysis? Uh, what goes all into your analysis to, to uh, decide which are the best trades? So what we're gonna try to do is just add a little uh, special uh, uh, commentary to let's say a special recommendation approximately every Tuesday night. And the reason for this is it allows investors not only see what the signals and patterns are telling us, but what other influences allow for that uh, signal or pattern to be uh, uh, recommended, recommended. So our special re recommendation is based upon, if you look at the markets, remember the number one criteria before any position is put on is knowing which way the market is going. That's still a little bit iffy. The Dow traded positive today after bouncing again off the 50. However, the uh, stochastics are not curling up yet, not in the oversold area. And the Dow closed right at the T line. So obviously our recommendation is based upon seeing the markets open positive tomorrow. Same scenario on the NASDAQ, it bounced off the 200. It hasn't done a real signal, but it's kind of basing in here with the implication that it could probably see another day of trading uh, taking you up to the T line. So what we do is we wanna find the strongest signals and patterns. This is what we're gonna be emphasizing in our power training or power signal training this uh, Saturday. But, this is one of your strongest implications that the uptrend is gonna be heading further. Notice that we recommended Veil because it did a doji. In this case, it supported the 34, another doji, and then broke out through this level. Obviously wave one, wave two, starting wave three. On uh, what is today? Yesterday, it opened and traded lower and nothing to get excited about. However, when they gap up above the previous day's open after the trend has started, this creates a trend kicker signal, one of your strongest indications that the uptrend is gonna continue. We saw that in Wells Fargo. Nice best friend signal, gap up through this level. Opened here, closed here. The next day they opened it above the uh, previous day's open and went the opposite direction it's still moving up nicely. KOS, one of the uh, oil stocks, same scenario. Anytime you see this move and they gap it up and go in this direction, the implication is pretty strong that you're gonna see more upside. So tomorrow, based upon this information, we would still be buying this stock with the anticipation that if this is wave one, the doji doji gap up, and then the trend kicker signal is a strong indication we're still heading higher. I hope that helps. We'll try to go into more detail of why we're recommending our positions, but we'll put out a special recommendation each week just so people get more clarity as far as what the individual signals tell us and what the confirmation of patterns tell us. That'll be it. That's our special recommendation for this week. We'll see you in the chat rooms.